Hey you, welcome to my shop. In previous videos I had alluded to the fact that I had a CNC plasma cutter. Today we're going to revive it from the dead. I'm reviving it for the first time in two or three years. I moved down to Tennessee two years ago, two and a half years ago. I brought the plasma table with me. I uh, designed and built this thing myself. I set it up over here and I never used it. I, I hadn't used it since. Today we're going to revive it from the dead. I blew the dust off it. I kind of went through the controls last night on it and everything seems to be working fine. So we're going to load up a file and see if we can uh, make something. Stick with me. Remember, remembering how to do this is, uh, is half the battle, you know? We're just going to give it a go. We're just going to go for it. My files are on here on this thumb drive. There's a grinder rack that I'm making to hang my four and a half inch angle grinders. So the files are on here. I'm gonna plug these into, into this computer. Like I said, this stuff really hasn't been fired up. I'm gonna see if I can even remember how to load G code. Grinder rack, open. Well, the picture on there doesn't look like the file. I've got, I've got a little warning sign on my hyper, hypertherm here. It has something to do with the air pressure not being right. Let me take a look at that. Hmm, we're getting no movement. Close this out and restart it. One more time. Let's run it and see what happens. Huh. We've got some faults in my file here. All right. Let me straighten out these problems and I'll be back. One more time. I think I squared away the problems. Let's, let's find out here. Okay, we're back, I think. Huh, we're still having a problem. One more time. One more time. One more time. Yes, the joys of CNC. Let her rip, Tater Chip. That was sexy. Look at that. Nice. Now we gotta bend this up. That looks about right. I didn't I didn't design the file. Oh yeah, there it is. This hangs on the wall and the grinder slide right in there. Let me show you how that works. This gets screwed to the wall through here. I overbent this a little bit. And the grinder fits in there. Just like that. Nice and easy, see? That's perfect. 
I'm happy with that. I'm mounted up to the wall. I'll be back. And there we go. One grinder rack. I'm going to be using this plasma table a lot more from here on out. Here's a quick view of Mach 3, the Mach 3 screen on my computer. This actually runs on Windows XP. This is a dedicated computer just for this plasma cutter. I bought it at a pawn shop. I think I paid 50 bucks for it. it uh, it doesn't do anything else. It's not connected to the internet. It doesn't update XP, nothing. It's just strictly for running this machine. This here is the, um, the control panel. This is where all the uh, motor drivers are. And this is put out by C and CNC. I'm not sure if you can see that in that video. C and CNC. And it's a company out of Texas. This is called a Blade Runner. Um, and it's the whole setup. You, you buy the whole setup with the stepper motors and the, um, the controller and, and the interface for the computer. It's all in there. That part I didn't design myself. Now, coming to the machine, I designed this pretty much on a piece of paper with a pencil. It's a downdraft machine. I didn't use the draft in this video the downdraft in this video, but it's set up for downdraft. And this, as far as CNC plasma cutters go, plasma tables go, this was pretty inexpensive to build. I'm probably, just for the, the plasma table now, not including the actual plasma cutter, I'm probably into this whole thing for about, put it on the high side, $2,000. That includes the steel, the aluminum, um, a lot of stuff I had laying around. There goes your Z-axis with the machine torch. So if anybody's interested in seeing more on this CNC plasma table, just let me know. Um, there's belt reduction, and this is belt driven. The, um, the X and Y are belt driven. The Z's got a screw drive. And the reason why I went with belts on this is because I like to do very thin material and thin material requires very fast speeds to get nice sharp sharp cuts so that's why I went with belts on the X and Y and this thing is a speed demon it cranks it'll go a lot faster than some of these large commercially built um, CNC plasma tables you, you find that are gear driven So that's a quick overview. It was built cheap and it, and it works. It works really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I revived the plasma table. It's been dormant for almost three years and I'm very happy to have it revived. I just did a little project with it, but I'm gonna get into doing a lot more stuff on this plasma table. If you're interested in the plasma table, and um, leave some comments in, uh, down below the description if you're interested in, in finding out more about this uh, plasma table build, if you're interested, uh, you know, just anything in general about the CNC plasma table. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.